All right, this is Cliff Rohde of GoCloud Communications with a tutorial today on how to install a theme on a WordPress website. Also going to give you a couple of pointers on things to watch out for once you do install a new theme. Well, here's um, one way, and uh, it's really pretty easy. Let's say you went and bought a, a theme somewhere, or even if you downloaded it from the WordPress repository, you're going to save probably a zip file somewhere and so it's easy to upload that zip file as your new theme. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to move over to Appearance, Themes, and it's going to take a moment for the Themes page to load. We come up to where it says, you guessed it, Add New. And then it's going to prompt us um, to look for where that theme is. So what we want to do is upload because we have the zip file of the new theme. We're going to upload it and it's going to ask us to choose a file. A folder, here's the file. Foxy, it's one we downloaded from Elegant Themes. We love Elegant Themes. We love this particular theme. You hit open and you can see that we've chosen the file and we just hit install now. Now if you look down below here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen it's going to say that the theme itself is uploading and it'll tell you, uh, you know, give you an indication of how far al along it is. It'll get to 100% and then we'll get another message up here indicating that the theme has been installed. But that doesn't mean it's active. Right now we still had, and I'm going to show you here, we're going to right click on the site, take a look at it, this is still a theme other than Foxy, and so when we go back, what we can do, we get the, here's the message saying that the theme has been uploaded successfully. Um, it tells us that right here. We can do a live preview, but we know we just want to go ahead and activate that theme. And so that will be the live theme on the website as soon as it goes through the activation process. All right, that's finished. It tells us this is active. Come back up here, hit refresh, and we'll see magically that the Foxy theme has been installed. And that's how to do it. Now, here's the uh, couple of points to remember. One is, remember that you're going to probably have to change your menus when you install a new theme because they can really easily get out of whack once a new Steam theme is installed. And then also, if you happen to have widgets in a sidebar, like here, or widgets down in a footer. Um, you may want to change those too, or just make sure that they, uh, they transferred along with the new theme, because that may not always happen. So there you have it. That's how to install a theme, and a couple of things to watch out for. Thank you so much for listening.